Welcome back. Get ready to dive into the world of tech with MA Tech. Bringing you the latest updates, reviews, and insights in just a few seconds. According to a report from a Weibo user, the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus are expected to maintain their current screen sizes of 6.1 and 6.7 inches, respectively. However, the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max are set to see a size increase, with displays growing to 6.3 and 6.9 inches, respectively. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman also supports this, noting that the iPhone 16 Pro models will grow a couple tenths of an inch diagonally, reflecting these incremental size increases. Leaks from Weibo suggest that the action button, previously introduced in the iPhone 15 Pro models, will now be included in the base iPhone 16 models. This button is expected to provide users with quick access to customizable functions. Additionally, the iPhone 16 will feature a new capture button, designed specifically for camera shutter operations, enhancing the user experience for photography. The new iPhone models will also feature a redesigned camera block. Unlike the diagonal arrangement seen in previous models, the cameras will now be aligned vertically. This change not only impacts the aesthetic but may also affect the overall functionality and performance of the camera system. Recent reports suggest that the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus will maintain their current screen sizes of 6.1 and 6.7 inches, respectively. This continuity in size could mean familiar ergonomics and display dimensions for users upgrading from previous models. On the other hand, the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max are expected to see a size increase, with the Pro model scaling up to 6.3 inches and the Pro Max reaching 6.9 inches. Mark Gurman from Bloomberg supports this rumor, noting that the iPhone 16 Pro models will grow by a couple tenths of an inch diagonally. Leaks from Weibo also reveal some interesting design changes for the new iPhone models. The action button, which debuted on the iPhone 15 Pro models, is expected to be introduced on the base iPhone 16 models as well. This button may offer users enhanced functionality and quick access to various features. Additionally, the iPhone 16 will feature a new capture button, which serves as a dedicated camera shutter button. This could enhance the photography experience by providing a more intuitive way to take photos. The camera block on the iPhone 16 is undergoing a design change. Instead of the diagonal arrangement seen in previous models, the new camera setup will be aligned vertically. This design adjustment is likely aimed at improving the camera system's performance and aesthetics, providing a refreshed look while potentially enhancing the functionality of the camera module. As we get closer to the official announcement, these rumored design and size changes offer a glimpse into what might be new in the iPhone 16 lineup. Keep an eye on official releases for confirmation and more detailed information. One of the most thrilling rumors surrounding the iPhone 16 series is the potential inclusion of the 3 nanometer A18 Bionic chip. This advancement marks a significant leap from last year's A17 Pro chip, which was expected to be the baseline for the new iPhone models. According to industry analyst Jeff Poo, the iPhone 16 series is set to debut with the A18 Bionic chips, promising a notable boost in performance and efficiency across the lineup. The A18 Bionic chip is anticipated to deliver substantial improvements in processing power and energy efficiency. This upgrade would enhance overall device performance, making the iPhone 16 series even more capable of handling demanding tasks, gaming, and advanced applications. The 3 nanometer technology promises better performance per watt, which could lead to longer battery life and smoother user experiences. While the introduction of the A18 Bionic chip is exciting, it also raises concerns about component costs. As Apple incorporates more advanced technology, the costs associated with these components can increase. This potential rise in production costs might influence the pricing of the new iPhone models, adding to the anticipation surrounding their final retail prices. The move to the A18 Bionic chip is a significant step for the iPhone 16 series, highlighting Apple's commitment to pushing the boundaries of performance and technology. As we await the official announcement, these rumors offer a glimpse into the advancements that could redefine the iPhone experience. Keep an eye on future updates for confirmation and further details about this exciting development. 
This year's iPhone lineup is expected to include four models, the iPhone 16, iPhone 16 Plus, iPhone 16 Pro, and iPhone 16 Pro Max. Each model brings its own set of features and enhancements, continuing Apple's tradition of offering a range of options to suit different needs and preferences. Recent rumors from Weibo suggest that the iPhone 16 series will see an increase in battery capacity across most models. However, the iPhone 16 Plus might not benefit from this enhancement. The increased battery capacity could potentially improve overall battery life, but the real-world impact will depend on various factors, including how the new hardware and software optimizations perform together. It will be interesting to see how these changes affect daily usage and device longevity. The iPhone 16 series is also expected to see significant camera improvements. All models in the lineup will feature an upgraded telephoto lens with the same 48 megapixels resolution as seen in previous high-end models. This enhancement is likely to provide better zoom capabilities and improved image quality. For the Pro models, there are exciting developments on the horizon. The iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max are rumored to receive a larger sensor, which could enhance photo and video quality by capturing more light and detail. Additionally, there is speculation that these models might include a second 48 megapixel sensor, further boosting their imaging capabilities. According to a research note from Jeff Poo, this potential addition could offer even greater versatility and performance for photography enthusiasts. These anticipated upgrades to battery life and camera technology highlight Apple's focus on enhancing user experience across its new iPhone models. As we await further official details, these rumors provide a glimpse into the improvements that could be on the horizon for the iPhone 16 series, promising enhanced performance and imaging capabilities. Apple appeared to be preparing to release some Apple intelligence features in iOS 18 Developer Beta 3. During the beta phase, users discovered a new section titled Apple Intelligence and Siri in the Settings app on the Xcode simulator. This indicated that Apple was integrating Apple Intelligence features into the early stages of iOS 18. The Apple Intelligence and Siri section was removed from the final release of iOS 18 Developer Beta 3 before the official drop. This suggests that Apple may have decided to refine or delay the introduction of these features to ensure they meet their quality and performance standards. Additionally, some users running iOS 18 Developer Beta 3 noticed a new option on the virtual QWERTY keyboard labeled Create New Emoji when accessing the Emoji Picker. This feature was also removed in subsequent revisions of the beta build, further indicating ongoing adjustments and improvements to the upcoming iOS release. With Apple Intelligence, users will have the exciting ability to create their own emojis by describing their desired design. For instance, you could request a T-Rex wearing a tutu on a surfboard, and the AI would generate an emoji based on your description. This feature allows for a highly personalized and creative way to communicate through emojis. In addition to custom emojis, iOS 18 introduces several other cool features. Users can now customize app icons on their iPhone's home screen, providing a more personalized and visually appealing interface. These enhancements are part of Apple's broader effort to innovate and expand the customization options available to users. The introduction of these new features, combined with the opportunity to receive Apple intelligence early, has led to a surge in iPhone users opting to install the developer beta rather than waiting for the stable release. A recent poll revealed that more users are choosing the developer beta over the most recent stable version of iOS, likely influenced by the elimination of the $99 fee to become an Apple developer. This shift highlights the strong interest in exploring the latest features and capabilities before their official release. As component costs have been rising over the years, it's anticipated that the new iPhone models might also see an increase in pricing. The iPhone 15 Pro Max saw a price jump from $1,099 to $1,199 compared to its predecessor, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. For the iPhone 16, Apple aims to keep the base model at $799, with the iPhone 16 Plus priced at $899 and the iPhone 16 Pro at $999. However, given the trends in component costs and market factors, don't be surprised if there are price adjustments for these models. 
As the release date approaches, keep an eye on official announcements for the final pricing details. Apple's pricing strategy will reflect the latest advancements and features in the new iPhone models, and any potential increases will be a key factor for prospective buyers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech content. See you next time on MA Tech.